but let's take a look at some of the common complaints that's around that time of the month. So these are so common. I mean, we hear mm -hmm. everything from mood changes to breast pain. So Dr. Kenworth, can you discuss these? Okay, so, well, the mood change, you know, first of all, there's the physical uh, changes that mm -hmm. occur um, a lot of times related to as the menstrual cycle or menstrual lining is sloughing, um, we're getting some productions of some chemicals that create uh, some uh, cramping and headache and fatigue. Uh, some of the hormonal changes affect our, our retention of water, our moods. So I think you know that we'll see mood changes related to the drop in the hormones that trigger mm -hmm. the uh, the brain chemistry, mainly serotonin, right. and can affect our moods. Um, the the prostaglandin production by the uh, the breakdown of the lining of the womb can affect our back pain, our fatigue, our uh, even our bowel movements. Even acne. Yeah, I mean, and you know, acne, when you get... probably some of the, maybe uh, the drop in the hormones and maybe there's an imbalance of right. the male and now female hormone that we're dropping the estrogen and, and progesterone and maybe we see a slight uh, more testosterone, right. which is what creates the acne issues. So the increased appetite is also a very common uh, symptom of when right. you're yeah. getting a menstrual cycle. I mean, so many, th so many things. But what happens is we think with that is the serotonin, right. dopamine, those things. We know that in our brain we have receptors that control cravings and um, hung hunger, and probably the changes in those hormones are what trigger those feelings.